inside of me. So many animals, set them free to run through the jungle, fly through the air, swim in the ocean, go anywhere. So many animals, set them free. 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 I'm Joe. Hi, I'm Lockie. Hi, I'm Shay. Hi, I'm Bree. Hi, I'm Courtney. And, and together, together, we're High Five! Hello, Singapore! Thanks so much to the young parents for tuning in. But as a kid, I loved sports. I didn't really play many video games. I think I earned, owned a Nintendo 64 once, which is pretty old school, but that's pretty much all I had. And I just loved my footy and going outside and just playing. I think it's super important for kids. I think it's a good way you don't have to play on yourself, you know, you just have other friends, you know, and kick your footy with them or play some soccer with them. I think if you've got other people, then it's a great way to sort of exercise. You're not necessarily uh, training or exercising, you're just having fun with your mates. And I think that's important. I don't even think it's, you have to be doing physical activity. You could just be outside walking with your friends or, you know, just having fun. Well, I was obviously never a shy kid, but um, there's, I certainly come across lots of them because I actually teach um, dance to preschoolers as well. So I think just um, getting them comfortable in the place. So sometimes they don't always come out straight away and want to perform like crazy. They just like to slowly go into it and ease themselves into it. So um, I think as a parent, don't be worried if your child doesn't want to go out and dance and sing um, if they're just watching first because lots of kids just like to watch and suss things out before they go gung-ho straight into it. So I think just persistence and always just encouraging them to keep trying to go and um, just perform because it's so great for your physical health and your mental health as well. So yeah. Yeah, so I absolutely love reading. It's definitely one of my passions to do like at night time before bed because reading takes you on wonderful adventures and um, it's just amazing. It's a great way to use your imagination. Um, for me, I started with the Dr. Seuss books and I also loved anything Disney. So I think for kids, just start slow. So maybe read to your child and then help them pick up their first book and like work through words. And it's a bit like, it's a great learning, learning experience. It's lots of fun, bit of trial and error at the beginning. And then you can work your way up to more challenging novels and such. And lots of pictures is always really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Love good pictures. <laughs>